Welcome to this lesson on constructing a perpendicular to a line at a point on a line. The first thing that we're going to do is place our compass on the point that we want the perpendicular line to go through. And we're going to draw an arc on both sides of that point. So on here and here. Then we're going to slide out our compass to over halfway. So about between A and C and draw an arc. And then we'll do the same thing from the other side and draw an arc, and then we will connect them. All right, so let's try an actual example. So I'm going to label this point A. Okay, so I'm going to put my compass on point A, and I'm gonna slide out my compass so that it will go through both sides of the line. And if you need to extend the line, that's totally okay. All right, so I'm gonna draw an arc over here and an arc over here. I'm going to call this B and this C. Then I'm going to put my compass on point B and I'm going to make sure that my compass is about between A and C. So about here. So as you can see, it's about between A and C. And I'm going to draw an arc above A. Then without changing the width, I'm going to do the same thing from C. And then I'm just going to connect where this intersects and point A. So that should be perpendicular. All right, if you want to stop the video now and try this one by yourself, you can. Okay, so I'm going to turn my paper. I'm going to label this A. And I am going to extend this line out. So if you need to do that, that's totally okay. Just so that you can make sure that it goes through both sides. So I'm going to put my compass on point A. And I'm going to draw an arc on this side. And on this side and then I'm going to label this B and this C now I actually didn't have to extend it out but if your compass was a larger width then it would have gone over the line all right so now I'm going to put my point on B and I'm going to extend my compass out between A and C and lock it and I'm going to draw an arc above A and then I'm going to do the same thing without changing the width from C and then connect. And it should be perpendicular.